I, I think in all honesty, okay guys, if I ever do US meetups, and I will probably do US meetups, then it will probably be something West Coast, something Central, and something East Coast. New York seems quite likely for the East Coast, and well, let's be honest with you, San Francisco seems likely for the West Coast, really, doesn't it? <laughs> As the Central, I've got to be honest, I don't know anything about the Central, so uh, we'll, we will have to work that out. No, there is not a single picture of me online. I have a nasty feeling that fact is going to change. I've been quite proud of that, to be honest with you, but... Yeah, I think that's going to change soon, isn't it? So anyway, here we are. Nearly done with the industrial side of this, so I'm quite happy to move on. We're going to do two builds tonight, and there's a few other little bits and pieces that I want to do. And I've prepared most of the bits and pieces for these builds so they won't actually take too much time to do. They won't be won't be spending the next hour watching me looking at the craft bench so much. It's more putting things together and then getting frustrated because they don't work. So let's just have a quick look around here, see what's changed. The biggie is I've added a fruit harvester. So this here, this is a fruit picker, and this works exactly the same way as the harvesters do here. It just looks after this area, and when the fruits ripen, it plucks them and sends them through to the computer storage. And this is doing quite well. I've added three more trees. So I've added a walnut tree, and I've added a vanilla tree, and I've added a star fruit tree along with these ones. So I've got dragon fruit, and I've got olives, and I've got peppercorns. This is obviously apples, mango, and lime. I have no idea what I'm making with them, but uh, I want to make something with them. And I will probably make another one of these fields behind this when I finish with the industrial sector, because if you look in here, okay, I've got poppy granites, I've got plums, I've got peppercorns out already, I've got peach, papaya. I love that word, papaya. <laughs> it's a good word. Take care, other world princess. Thanks for coming along, and you just take care of that headache, and I'll see you soon. Papaya. Yes, yeah, such a good word, isn't it? So there's loads of stuff that still needs to go out here. Okay, so this is chugging away. This is making wheat, which we're turning into bread, and this is making lettuce, as is this and this, which we're turning into lettuce. And that's for a couple of quests we're doing. So let's have a quick look at the quest book. I've got two finished quests which we will we will get the rewards for. But the ones we're doing here are the leafy greens, the lettuce, which we've got. We've managed to make thirty thousand six hundred and nine lettuces so far. And the toasty bread, where we've made two thousand nine hundred and forty-two of ten thousand. So that's chugging along as well. So a lot of work there. But um, I did notice that we had a couple of quests with unclaimed rewards, so let's grab those as well. And which one is it on this one? That one. There we go. Digital storage unclaimed. I've made all these as part of making the, uh, the, the ME storage. So I can get all this stuff. Claim reward. So that's giving me a reward bag, a yellow heart container, a full heart, which is an extra life in this game, and four ME interfaces, which are going to be very useful. And the other one with a quest is in Go for the Flow. There's a repeated quest here for creating seed oil. And I can pick one of these, and I've got a lot of this stuff already, so I'm just going to grab the reward bag. Yeah, and as you can see, I'm already 27% of the way into doing that one again. Right, so let's have a look at what we've got. So we've got a load of bees. We'll look at that later. We've got two full hearts, which are extra lives in the game. So let's just claim those. So we're up to 40 lives remaining. What's that? What's that? Can it be? No, it's large. 
Looks like it's that's I don't know why this isn't working. Alright, what else we got? We got a yellow heart container. Now that's a useful thing. Okay, if we go over here. Okay, these are actually just bonus bonus lives. So we stick that in there. We've now got two yellow heart containers in there. And we should heal up here. If you look, okay, the first heart is turned orange. And that should give us two full hearts of orange. So effectively we got twelve hearts worth of hit points now. Not that it really matters in this game, but it's nice to have nonetheless. And finally, let's move that out of the way. We've got an epic, and we have a greater reward bag. So let's have a quick look at these. Do the greater first, actually. Let's make some space first, and then we'll do the greater. So let's just pop over to the ME storage here. Store some of this stuff away. Yeah. These are the last few barrels and, and chests that have not had their stuff taken out of them. As you can see, I'm emptying them three at a time. In fact, we'll do that in just a sec, but uh, let's store some of this stuff. That's just attuned. A purple. These are new bees to me. I'm going to be very interested in playing with them. Store that stuff. Store that. Store the ME interface because we don't need it just yet. That week can go. The luggage is in timeout because it's been very annoying recently. So let's see what's in these reward bags. 16 conveyor belts. Okay. I've been meaning to play with those. And four blood saplings. That was crap. Got loads of those already. And we'll store the conveyor belts. I'll find a use for those later on. But actually, while I'm here, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. And where's my dolly? Let's get three more barrels in here. Put them down like that. And this one here. And this one. Yeah. Okay, and now, as you can see, these are slowly, the numbers are slowly going down. They're actually getting pulled out of here through this pipeline and into the ME system. So if we look at here and we go at Flint. Okay, if you see the numbers going up of the Flint there, so 74, 77, and the 8, and so on. Okay, so that is now being stored in the system. And we'll store that, we'll store that, and we'll store that. Okay. So by the next time you see this, I'm hoping that everything will be out of barrels and into the storage system. Okay, right. Let's do the first build of the evening. Okay, and that one is I want to make a automated crafting system. Oh, let's get that out of my hand. Of which, okay, I've got the bits and pieces I need here. Okay, so in order to make a, 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 um, a crafting system, you need a pattern provider. And you need at least one crafting CPU. That's that's the, the, the guts of the system. So we'll grab those now. But in order to build it, you need to build a frame. Okay, and the frame has to be... Um, the edges are con assembled containing walls, and the, uh, the panels are heat vents. And I'm going to build it here. And I was originally going to build it in the room, but I think I'm actually going to put it back one level. So first of all, let's just make a hole in the wall. Oh no, you'll just die another brick in the wall. So three, one, two, three. Is that enough? Um, one, two. Yeah, I think that's actually enough. So. Let's get this stuff out. Heat vents and assembler container units. So the walls go like this. Okay, so that's the back wall, and I need to put a heat vent there and there. And then this comes out like this. And this. 
and across the middle like this like that and we'll put heat vents in a top and bottom and left and right and we'll save the last two for a minute because in the middle goes the pattern provider and the crafting CPU so one and two and then if we've done this right if we put these here eek, we put these here and here there we go it's changed shape so that is now a working crafting computer and I've got one encoded pattern which I shall show you how it works and this is for a very simple one it's for double compressed cobblestone okay we'll make more we'll make more useful ones later on but first of all I just want to put that one in there okay so it now changed the icon of a double compressed cobblestone and let's just make a double compressed cobblestone okay, now the problem with the double compressed cobblestone is that we need to make it out of compressed cobblestone and the crafty actually I know there's some in there because this is being emptied so actually let's just go and do it so let's go to a crafting no not crafting terminal we've got to go to this one which is the crafting monitor no we want to go to this one here we go right so we go to the crafting terminal and there's a, a tab here that says view stored craftable so we want to stored items craftable items so now we have here this this crafting item the one we put in the pattern computer upstairs so um for a double compressed cobblestone so i think we just click on that and it'll give us the number we want so we'll ask it to make let's make it let's ask it to make 10 okay so we're going to make it 10 double compressed cobblestone so each double compressed cobblestone is made out of nine compressed cobblestone each compressed cobblestone is made out of nine cobblestone so we'll tell it to begin there we go and if we look at the crafting monitor it's not doing anything so has it done it already ah, okay <laughs> that, was, that was too short uh, but as you can see we've got 10 double compressed cobblestone here so let's give it another task and let's just tell it to do uh, 128 let's do 512 there we go all right 512 all right begin I think you can see that's ticking down now as it's crafting them and if we go here and we do the same search cob okay you can see the double compressed cobblestone number is ticking up there so 110 116 20 okay so it's a huge ass computer as artist 10 has pointed out and that's chugging away for us and until it will chug away quite nicely until it's made 512 double compressed cobble cobblestone which will leave us with 522 so let's leave that to work because i want to use this to do a quest for us and the one i'm thinking of doing is for the hoarding no hell's kitchen that's it now we've still got a lot of these to do uh, but the one I'm thinking of doing is this no not that one um, where is it okay yeah not that one most important meal there we go so we want a hundred hearty breakfasts okay so if we go and look at this and we look at hearty breakfasts right there we go hearty breakfast it's made up out of cooked pork chop or firm tofu, fried egg, potato cakes, toast, and a juice. Okay, so if we look at the juices, that's a, an orange or whatever and a juicer. I believe an apple will go past in a second. Mandarin, Satsuma, orange, no, Tanya Mandarin. Oh, surely we can do better other than that. Uh, there we go, apple and a juicer, okay. 
So first of all, let's make sure that we've got a juicer in our inventory. No, we don't. Let's go and find it. Is it in here? Ah. The secret heal. The secret heal. The secret heal. Nope. Let's go and look in here because I did a lot of cooking when this was my base. So it might still be in here. Ain't no juicer there. I might just go and make another one. Take one there either. Right here. No. Let's go and make a juicer. So, enable the jetpack. I'm so paranoid about plummeting to my doom. Back of this is starting to look horrible. You can see the back where the, where the back of the computer is there. I think I'm going to have to do something with that. But we'll do that later on. Okay, and here we go in here. Let's make a juicer. So, that and... Oh, actually, hold on a sec. So let's look in here, J-U-I, juicer, that's what I want to make, and it's a stone and a pressure plate. So do we have any stone? Yes we do. Okay, so let's make a pressure plate to start off with, like that. Get rid of that recipe, so we'll put a pressure plate there and a stone there. And that will give us a juicer. So we'll put that in the inventory. Okay, so we now know we've got a stone, a, a, a juicer in there. Do we have any apples? Oh, look, we have 1,656 apples, which will do us nicely. So let's make a pattern for making apple juice. And actually, to do that, we are going to need an apple. And we're actually going to need that juicer back. Grab it back, please. Grab your ball back. Thank you. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a pattern. So I've got 10 blank patterns in there. And I'm going to tell it to make this. Like that. Okay, so that is apple juice. And... Right, so that's the pattern. So we've had it to encode the pattern. So then we now have a, an ME encoded pattern crafts one apple juice. Oh, that's no good because it crafts it with 64. Let's do it like this. I messed that one up, so let's craft this one. Juice. At least I hope we can make juice. I've got to remember to turn the jetpack off before trying to come downstairs. So, uh, yeah, so there we go. So now we go view patterns so we've got apple juice there and we're going to tell it to make 100 begin and if we look here still making this that's going to tick down slower now because we're making two things oh hold on i've got to give it the juicer back And you see the number is ticking down, so we are making apple juice. And we can see that by going here. J-U-I, juicer, there you see, 72, 76, 78, 82, there we go. We're making that 100. So, we can take that from that, and then we can look, let's just go back to look at the big breakfast, the hearty breakfast. There we go. Uh, nobody's answering. Oh, uh, Rawdy's here. Okay. Uh, it's important that Rawdy's here because if I do anything wrong, she's going to tell me off. So I've got, I've got to keep her, keep her in mind. You know. Right. Okay. So right. Let's go back here, and we'll look at hearty breakfasts. Right. So hearty. Why? There we go. That's better. All right. Hearty breakfast. Alright, 
Toast is going to be hard to do with this because we've got to cook it, but we can make bread. Potato cakes we can make. We can basically just make all of this. Okay. Um, so I'm not going to do this, but I will do it off camera because you've seen how to make one thing. And then the final, the final encoding is basically make this. Okay. So I make one of this, I'll set up the patterns and it will do it. And I will set that off between. And then next time we do this, uh, I will show you that it's in working. But all we need to know at the moment is if we look at the crafting monitor, it's still crafting double compressed cobblestone because it's now getting the cobblestone out of here, which is slowing it right down. But if I go next, the juice is done. And the rest of it will be done that way. I just don't want it to bore you by bogging myself down with that. Uh, I, orange juice would be so much nicer for that, to be honest with you. I had a good cup of coffee. 